It's almost indescribable to me the beauty of the moon. It's just shades of gray, a very bright reflection of the sunlight. And then you see the horizon very clearly and sharply. And then you look up into the sky and it's black, just jet black. Good to be back in Munich to be a part of this uh, very special celebration here at the Deutsche Museum. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Well, I'm glad that uh, President Kennedy said we're going to land a man on the moon and return safely. Uh, everybody liked the return safely part. <laughs> we had 400,000 people employed, you know, working uh, three shifts uh, seven days a week. So it took a monumental effort to do it, but uh, uh, we accomplished it. You were Capcom uh, when uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the surface of the moon. Well, it was a very tense uh, descent. We began to have communication problems. Then what to me was a very stunning uh, event, we started having computer problems. And when I saw those in mission control, I thought we were had to abort the mission. Uh, then we had a trajectory problem. Neil said we can't land in this area, it's really rough. So we had to level off and fly over. And that resulted in extra fuel uh, that we hadn't planned on and now we're minimum fuel. And that meant it had 60 seconds to land, and I called Eagle 30 seconds. There was dead silence in mission control, very tense. 13 seconds later, I heard uh, Buzz Aldrin say, contact, engine stop, and so they were on the ground. A great sigh of relief. Mission accomplished. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was Apollo 16 in 1972. That's correct. How was that? Uh, well, exciting. We had uh, trained for two years. We landed in the Lunar Highlands, which was uh, about 2,500 meters above where Neil Armstrong had landed. We had a very, very busy uh, scientific uh, exploration. Uh, we had a lot of experiments uh, to do. I didn't get to drive the car. Uh, my commander, John Young said, I'm the driver, uh, and I was the navigator. And he followed the, uh, the direction I was giving him. And while we were, he was driving along, concentrating on the path, uh, I was looking around, taking photographs, commenting to mission control, uh, what we were passing uh, and what we were seeing. And uh, uh, so I had an easy job. Well, uh, if you recall, uh, the Munich uh, Olympics were in 1972. 72. So we were going to do the Moon Olympic to start the Olympic year. And uh, we had planned the high jump and maybe the broad jump. And then I gave a big jump uh, and uh, my center of gravity went backwards and uh, was falling on my back and uh, thought, you know, if I don't do something, I'm dead because that backpack could break. John <laughs> uh, came over and looked down as I was flat on my back. He said, that wasn't pretty smart. That wasn't very smart, Charlie. <laughs> About that time, the TV camera was looking at me and they had seen this and they said, no more Moon Olympics, guys. Die Mondlandung ist nicht nur irgendein Flug, sondern tatsächlich ein Symbol für die Überwindung von Grenzen, für das Möglichmachen eines Traums. Man kann, man soll, man darf auch nach den Sternen greifen. Für die Zeit war das eine unglaubliche Pionierleistung. Wir erleben ja im Moment wieder eigentlich einen neuen Run ins Weltall, aber ein anders motiviert. Nun, es geht darum, die Möglichkeiten der Raumfahrt für uns zu nutzen. Wir uh, spenden viel Geld, um die Welt zu entdecken. Und ich weiß nicht, ob es Leben oder es nicht Leben gibt. Ich glaube nicht, dass Leben ein Unfall ist. Ich glaube nicht, dass Leben ein Unfall ist. Ich glaube nicht, dass Leben ein Unfall ist.
Aber man muss sich ja die Frage stellen, auf welchem Niveau? Sprechen wir von Bakterien? Sprechen wir von einer Zivilisation, die weiterentwickelt ist als wir? Einfachste Lebensform wie Bakterien oder so, wird es wahrscheinlich auch in unserer Galaxie, also in Amerika, sehr viel geben. Nur Zivilisation eben weniger. The reason I like to continue to talk about my experiences in space because if I can encourage one of these young people to dream big and to think about the possibilities, I'll say keep your antennas up because you never know what probabilities coming to your life. The young generation is ready to go.